Hello my students, my name is Muhammad Amara and I'm going to talk about introduction to AP Physics 1. But first of all, let's talk about what is physics and why is it important. Physics is crucial to understanding the world around us, the world inside us and the world beyond us. It is the most basic and fundamental science. Physics challenges our imaginations with concepts like relativity and string theory and it leads to great discoveries like computers and lasers that lead to technologies which change our lives from healing joints to curing cancer to developing sustainable energy solutions as an experimental science physics utilizes the scientific method to formulate and test hypotheses that are based on observation of the natural world the goal of physics is to use the results of these experiments to formulate scientific laws usually expressed in the language of mathematics which can then be used to predict other phenomena. Let's talk about the content review of the AP Physics 1. In Unit 1 we have the kinematics and it, its weight is 12% to 18% of exam score. The material covered in the overview will be in term units, scalar versus vector, constant velocity, acceleration, free fall and projectile motion. In unit 2 we have the dynamics forces. The weight is 16% to 20%. The material that is covered in the overview is Newton's laws, types of forces and diagrams, second law, Hooke's law and springs connecting dynamics and kinematics. In unit 3 we have the circular motion and gravitation. The material that it will be covered in the overview is a circular motion concept, centripetal force, velocity and acceleration, circular motion, problem solving, universal gravitation, concepts, relationships, problems and orbit. In unit 4 we have the energy and it has a huge weight approximately from 20% to 28% of the whole exam score. And the material that will be covered in the overview is the types of energy, work, power, defining the systems and conservation of energy, problem solving, systems work, energy principle, pendulums also. Unit 5, we have the momentum. It also has a good weight of approximately 12% to 18% of the exam score. It uh, talks about momentum and impulse. Uh, types of collisions, conservation of momentum and energy, problem solving analysis and strategies. In unit 6 we have simple harmonic motion. It's not an easy unit but it has a low score approximately from 4% uh, to 6%. Uh, simple harmonic motion concepts and trait and how to solve for period, pendulum, mechanical energy, uh, with the minimum and the maximum value, oscillating springs also. And the last unit is about torque and rotational motion. It has a good score actually from 12% to 18%. Talks about um, the differences between angular and linear variables, torque, moment of inertia, angular momentum, rotational and kinetic energy. Strategy and practice. Practice. Get as much practice as possible doing a wide variety of multiple choice questions and free response questions all four times. Keep in mind that some websites resources will have AP practice questions or exams that are not quite in the same caliber of style. So try to get practice exams that are official AP practice given by your teacher or the AP college board. What about the multiple choice strategies in AP Physics 1? Pacing, 50 multiple choice questions, 5 multiple select, 90 minutes. So approximately 1 minute and 48 seconds per question. 17 questions every 30 minutes. So do not slow down if you are working at a faster pace. What about the thinking process? Questions require deep content knowledge. There are little to no surface level questions. Read the question at least twice, draw and label as much as possible, refer to equations for mathematical and conceptual ideas, develop your idea, answer before reading the answer choices if possible, 
Use the process of elimination for many or all problems. After you answer the question, then reread the question. Preparation You need to re review and study concepts using videos, notes, texts, lectures, etc. Practice, practice, practice as much as possible in test like scenarios. What about the free response strategies in AP Physics 1? Overall, we have five free response questions one experimental design, one qualitative slash quantitative translation, one paragraph, one paragraph argument, two short answer. You need to skim all five questions and use your intuition to rank them easiest to hardest. Rank them from one to five or label as easy, moderate, and high. Additional strategies. Be aware of suggested times. Identify the specific task for each question. Circuit the verb. Practice your organization and show all work. Include all major concepts that you need to apply. If you put down incorrect work, then put an X through it instead of erasing it all. If you find a certain sub-question is particularly difficult or you are short on time, then skip to the next one. Study and practice each type of question. Be familiar with scoring, AP Physics 1 FRQ scoring. So the exam components are multiple choice, 90 minutes, 50 questions, 5 multiple select. Free response, 90 minutes also, 5 questions, 1 experimental design, 1 qualitative slash quantitative translation, 1 paragraph argument, 2 short answer questions. Don't forget that you also have an AP Physics equation sheet, but it does not have all the formulas there. We will be using the Cutnell and Johnson physics book. It is one of the best and the top physics books in the world. Good luck my students and I can't wait to see you. Thank you for watching this video.